Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Welcome to the Home Chef Hustle Pack playthrough. I don't really know what to call this, well, pack overview, I guess. This is the first time I'm doing something like this, so I hope it works out. I'm just really very excited about playing this pack, so I'm making a video on it because I don't know, I've been thinking about it since I went to bed last night. For me, the pack comes out like at 3am or something, so um, there's absolutely no way I would have been able to get the pack like when it comes out. So it's been like a couple of hours now and I'm about to play with it and see what it's all about. Um, I've seen very little videos on the pack. I'm hoping to like just experience the pack almost blindly, not really, but like um, I've seen like one or two, so I kind of have an idea of what came with the pack. I'm just, um, you know, like I'm still not familiar with it, so I'm like looking through everything. And I quite like this dress. I didn't know that we we're gonna get this dress, I didn't notice it. Oh, by the way, like my, um, my Sims body preset is probably why there's like this distortion with the mesh on the clothing. Um, so ignore it. It is not EA's fault that it is like that, it's my mods. Um, I'm not really a big fan of this jumpsuit to be honest. Just a personal preference thing. I think it looks beautiful, it's just I'm not a jumpsuit person so it feels weird and odd and wrong for me to even have my sim wear it but for the sake of trying out new things, I am going to wear it but maybe with like some boots instead. I don't know what's gonna look nice with this. Not the clocks though. The clocks are, to be honest, very ugly. I'm not like a Crocs fan, so these look really ugly to me. And I'm trying to go like without CC or so just to enjoy <laughs> the pack even more, I guess. So let's try to use as minimal CC as possible. This is so cute. Okay, she'll be wearing this to sleep. <laughs> uh, and I'll let her hair down too. Um, I'm using Sims from my Wolf Days or like Orozco Legacy Let's Play to play with this pack. They're a married couple, they're newly married and they're very young. They're both like deeply in love and the husband Luciano over here, he's actually a werewolf um, because in that Let's Play, a big part of the Let's Play is about werewolves but I was just thinking about which couples in my arsenal of saved sims can I use to experience this pack? and these two are oh by the way there will be like drilling in the background and occasional trains and birds and chickens and human beings including children screaming in the background if you're new to my channel that is that is literally my life <laughs> living in um, a very very highly dense place with noise all around so uh, I'm sorry but also enjoy the sounds <laughs> I'll try to cut out as much as possible, but I cannot promise that I will be able to cut out most of it. But yeah, I really hate this pair of shoes. Like, I understand, but it reminds me so much of Crocs that it is making my, my blood boil a little bit. But it's okay because if it's for this pack, I'm willing to work with it. I honestly feel like it's so rude of them to have to work on construction when I'm also busy working as well. <laughs> I'm kidding, um, it's just how it is. I have kind of like resigned myself to fate about how like my surroundings are always so like noisy and stuff. In my LP, um, I do this LP on stream by the way, just in case you were like, huh? What LP? This LP is on stream, so it's not like an LP that you can find here <laughs> on this channel, but if you want to watch it, I do stream Mondays to Fridays. The story is kind of just beginning, though um, Diana won't be in the picture because she has sadly passed away when they gave birth to their son. These two, in this stage of their lives, is like the past when it comes to present time stream LP timeline. So I thought it was nice to like just bring them back because we'll never get to see Diana in that let's play. So we're kind of playing out like one portion of their lives before children, before she passed. <laughs> that sounds so morbid, but it's kind of like the storyline for the series. So that's just how it is. I just wanted to give her some screen time because I quite like how she looks and um, how she turned out. I created her solely for killing her off so that we can um, have that storyline be intact for my let's play, you know, so giving them a chance, experiencing them and their love. I don't think I'm gonna do any series with this one, I'm just gonna figure out the pack, play with it a little bit. The most is like a part two, depending on how much I enjoy this pack, and then I'll just move on. It'll just be like a simple little thing. Okay, the men's stuff is kind of like boring. We won't even be going into like children and 
infant stuff. We, I know we got a couple of things, but it's not enough that I would want to go and like check them out. I don't know if you already like noticed, but I'm not doing like a full overview. It's more like a first playthrough of the pack kind of thing. I might even not name this video overview because I'm not really overviewing the packages. I'm just gonna play with it. Experience the first experience of the pack. Maybe that's gonna be the title. Oh, I like this apron thing. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, let's do that strawberry one. Oh, this is so cute. I feel like this is more of like a teenager -y sort of hoodie sitch but not bad so far i quite like the tops and he looks good in this hair i didn't even like talk about the hair but um this hair and um this hair i like both of them they're really good they're like cc hair i very much enjoy them i guess we have our couple all set to move into their new home and um start on their business we'll have to go through the build and buy too so once again, this is Luciano. I gave both of them a new aspiration each. So Luciano is going to get the appliance with one. So this sim knows their way around small kitchen appliances. And then Diana, on the other hand, she has the fortune one, the one that says market magnate. And this sim wants to operate the most profitable food stand. So that's the two of them. I also added a dog because I just wanted a family to feel complete. I didn't want to add a child in <laughs> because technically they're not supposed to have a son yet and also i don't want to control a toddler but a little talgy a little bichon freeze running around the house i think it's gonna liven up the house very much so this is what we're gonna do so let us move into our new house okay here we are this is the house that we're staying in we're in brindleton bay i just downloaded this house from the gallery and i gave it a little bit of a very mild makeover i left the kitchen untouched because i want to go through the stuff that came with the pack together so let's hop right into that shall we i tried my best not to look at most of the things that came in the pack as well because i kind of want to like just see it together although yes chicken <laughs> Um, although I did use some of it already, like I knew about this tile floor and I really wanted to use it in my bathroom so I used it. But I haven't used anything else yet so I want to see this together. I also want to use this tile floor in this dining kitchen space as well. I just don't know what color scheme I want to go for. Absolutely no plans whatsoever. The swatches are so beautiful though and the texture of the, the flooring is also really really beautiful. I think I might actually just go with like the same color as the bathroom, although that's kind of boring isn't it? It feels really realistic to have like the same tile throughout the house though. Like it's just um, cost saving and um, I've been waiting to use this. <laughs> um, this, this tile, like a, this Yes, chicken. <laughs> like a, this sort of tiled kitchen wallpaper, I guess. I really don't know which one to use. I might just use this one. It looks really good. Yeah, okay, okay. That looks pretty nice. I'm gonna try to see if I can just use this layout in the kitchen. I feel like I don't want to be boring and use the white one, but I also feel like the white one's like probably the most fitting in this space. Okay, you know what? I'll be basic and use the white one. <laughs> it's really beautiful. I think I'm going to start overusing this one. I'm really happy that the kitchen cabinets that we've been getting with like the newer packs and kits and stuff, they are all like quite beautiful, well-made, it looks like CC, it's a nice change. I think The Sims 4 has come so far in terms of like the quality of the stuff that they've been putting out. I mean, in my opinion at least. I've always been quite a satisfied customer, I guess you can say. I never really had much to complain about when it came to the stuff that they put out. Like I just usually enjoy whatever comes, but um, this one is honestly really good. I wanted to do this, but and take away the windows but it really doesn't work that well in this kitchen so nah it's okay we'll just leave it like this i like that okay i don't know if i like it or i don't like the fact that this one is like the corner cabinet on the wall like what if i want to complete you know like you saw what i did earlier and then i realized that we can't do a corner cabinet because the corner cabinet is this and it's not like a full cabinet let me just demonstrate this again okay see like if I wanted to do like a like a corner piece moment like this, I won't be able to complete the counter space because it's gonna be just this. Which I understand it happens in real life. You have like these things like in the corner of your kitchen. But what if I want the cabinets? Then what? I wish we could have like more than that one option. But well, we have other cabinets for that, so maybe I shouldn't complain too much. It's actually quite a beautiful, beautiful corner piece. I must say I do really quite enjoy the open shelving effect that it gives. I kind of want to like change it to like a round island instead. Let's see. I think it'll be fun if it's a round one. 
Ooh, what is this? Oh, is that a, the shadow? Oh, it's the shadow. Okay, okay. I was like, what's that? Okay, we didn't get new high chairs. No high chairs? Bar chairs? Bar stools? What do you call these? I don't know, but uh, we didn't get new ones, so we're gonna use like whatever I, I like. <laughs> oh yeah, we do have these like drying things too. Hmm. We can't really place this here because of the windows being here though. I guess I could put it to the side and um, lift this up. Oh, that actually looks really good. I quite like that, okay. We'll need a lot of space for like the appliances, so hopefully I find space for it. I love this new sink. It's so good. I was probably the most excited for this sink if I'm being honest. I know this is the dishwasher, so let's place that right here. I mean, it makes sense to be like right beside the sink, right? Right, let's do these over on the... Oh, do you know what? I should extend this. Like, I should have um, one more counter because I think we'll need more counter space as so um, there's a lot of appliances to use. So, one more. Dustbin can be like just here, I guess. Oh, there's more shelving! <gasps> oh, I see the concept now. So this is more like a open shelving sort of kitchen pack then. Okay, that's not the same color. None of these are. I think this is the one. <laughs> It's just the lighting that's like kind of messing with it a little bit. So where are the other appliances that we need? A little of this like dough mixer thing. Maybe I can put it here. Or should we have it on this counter instead? Oh, do you know what? This makes it look like they're actively... Oh, stand mixer and prepped ingredients. Wow, is that a Chow Bella stand mixer? You'll be whipping up tasty treats in no time with that impressive piece of culinary machinery. Do you want to learn more about cooking with the stand mixer and prepped ingredients? Few lessons. Let's see what they want to say. The stand mixer is a crown jewel of any chef's kitchen, be they hobbyist or professional. Sims can use it to make prepped ingredients, a new type of ingredients that make cooking faster and cheaper. It also helps to improve the quality of a dish. You can choose to use fresh ingredients in a stand mixer to reduce the cost and possibly increase the quality of the prepped ingredients that are created, which may then further boost the quality of any recipes prepared using those prepped ingredients. Some recipes that use a prepped ingredient will take less time if that ingredient is used. For example, if your sim makes a cake with pre-made batter, they can skip the entire batter mixing step and simply pour the pre-made batter into a baking pan directly. You might notice that prepped ingredients will replace some or all fresh ingredients in certain recipes when the setting is activated as prepped ingredients are cheaper to make and have a chance of being even higher quality than any fresh ingredients used to make it this version of the recipe is better in terms of cost and dish quality cool understood okay so i'm just gonna like put these things on the counter for now though i know at some point we might actually want to move these things to the stall speaking of the little stall thing should we just start by placing this outside it's gonna be like our new business <laughs> we could have it be here and then um maybe set up like a couple of um tables and chairs as we slowly grow oh we have one for food stand too have you seen everything that came with the pack Ooh, is this like a light? It's a shelf, but it has lighting. That is pretty cool. Right, right, we have the core items too. Maybe we should like use them. Why is this slotting so weird? Ooh, the weighing machine thing. Let's just like, yeah, make it, make it look a little bit more realistic. Are we gonna make pizzas? I have no idea, but I'll just place some of these things here. It feels weird having like open food items on the kitchen table. Maybe we'll not use that one for now. Not really part of like what we want. The berry stuff seems appropriate though. Right, some of these dishes. Okay, cool. We can stack them. Can we stack them on top? <gasps> we can? Okay, I'm proud. Recipe book. Maybe we'll place this right here. Okay, this is pretty fun. <laughs> it's very beautiful. The stuff that we get from this kit. Sorry, not kit. Stuff pack. I just got so used to like calling things kit. It took me so long to not call kids stuff packs and then now I have to like try my best to not call stuff packs kids now. Why did the Sims do this to me? <laughs> okay, I am done. <laughs> I just added some more like decorations here and there. I want to keep most of the counters clean because I want to have it be functional, you know what I mean. So this is gonna be our setup for now. 
Alright, so I think we're ready to start. It is 7 a.m. For the sake of starting right, I maxed out all of their needs so we don't have to worry about them for a while. And for the sake of being able to do something with our cooking and stuff, I set both of their skill levels, like their cooking and baking. I don't really think you need to use the baking skill for this. I'm not sure. So I just set it to level 3 so that we're not like starting from scratch. Honestly, I just really want to get started with like making something. So I guess we will have to do prep ingredients for now. Let's do... Ooh! Better lactose-free batter dough prepped veggies, cookie dough prepped seafood, prepped meat, prepped meat substitute. Oh, that's so cool! Righto, let's do just better for now. I wonder if we should get some groceries. Ooh, should we play with simple living? Or should we just try things out first and not make things too hard for ourselves? Maybe let's not make things way too hard for ourselves, but I'm definitely gonna get us some ingredients. Fruits, vegetables, that kind of stuff. So we'll be able to use them and see how it goes, basically. Okay, I got like about $4,000 worth of groceries. Ooh! Interesting. Okay, I can't wait for the grocery to arrive. Jacob, thank you, I guess. <laughs> Accept the delivery, let's go. Five left, 17 hours, two spoiled. Okay, let's go and collect the prepped ingredients. I want to prep a couple of ingredients and start cooking. Maybe we'll spend all of today cooking and then tomorrow we'll be able to start a sale. Or maybe we should start like a small little sale first and see how it goes. I think like we are new to this neighborhood and we're trying to be nice. Also like I think there'll be a welcome wagon later so I might just play through the welcome wagon as well. I don't know. Let's give a tip. And then let's unload the delivery bag. Is the batter in your inventory now? Yes, it is. So can we come here now and uh, maybe make some waffles? What happens when we don't... Ooh, if we use prep ingredients, it'll be the batter. But if we uncheck prepped ingredients, then we'll have to use like milk, egg and flour and stuff like that. Cool beans! Okay, so we will be able to make berry waffles for free. Well, free in the sense that we've already paid <laughs> in terms of groceries. Let's get some, some of that waffle going and maybe we can get Luciano to come here and um, prep more ingredients. Maybe we can do a lactose-free variant of the better. Or maybe we should do dough. <gasps> should we do pizza as well? Okay, let's do pizza. So let's... Wait, what happened to the flour? Don't we have flour? Do we have to have the flour in our inventory for it to count? Because I did buy like a ton of flour. <laughs> I'm gonna put like three in your inventory and um, three in yours too. Hopefully they don't spoil. Do they spoil? No, they don't. Okay, so that's good. Right, okay. Luciano, come here. Prep the dough, please. Alright, so we'll station Diana as the waffle person and Luciano can be the pizza maker. And then this way we'll be able to get more things done, I guess. And meanwhile, while Luciano's waiting for the dough to be made, um, what can you do? What do you want to do? You want to go to the library and you want to try for baby with Diana. Um, maybe later. Okay, we want to earn 500 simoleons and make a new friend. Well, the welcome wagon technically is supposed to come. I mean, like, I'll, I'll be happy if they don't come too, so it's fine. Let's see what their aspirations want us to do. So we want to run a food sale from a residential lot and sell five excellent pizzas or waffles during a food sale for the first one. Honestly, right, I don't mind just doing like a mini series where we try to get both of their aspirations fulfilled. Because, I don't know, maybe it'll be fun. Maybe it won't, I don't know. We'll see. What about appliance whiz? Okay, we already own one small kitchen appliance and we're going to collect prepped ingredients five times while inspired. Oh, you have to be inspired? I see. Okay, so can you go cloud gaze or something? Okay, go cloud gaze, be inspired. Don't be flirty around your wife. Let's see, how does this work? Oh my god, waffles! I love the sounds that the um, kitchen is making with all of these things. Okay, the dough is prepped and the waffles? One minute to ready. Yay, it's ready. Okay, so let's get Diana to collect that and maybe we can make more than one serving too, right? Because we do have some more prepped dough. I mean, prepped batter. We have four. We can do a lot of waffles with this batter. We can do five different servings of waffles, I guess. He is absolutely not inspired whatsoever. <laughs> well, we have a plate of waffles now. Ooh, wow, they look not bad. All right, we do have like cupcakes as well, right? Should we put this in the um, the store itself? It's nine hours in our inventory. And then if we put it into the store, oh, it's six days to spoiled if it's in the store. Okay, so I guess this is going to be our new fridge so we can stock up as we cook. 
and then we can start a yacht sale soon. If Luciano's not going to be inspired today, then maybe we will just collect the dough right now. All right, if you have the dough, then shall we start cooking? Oh, we can do focaccia. Too. Oh my god, I love focaccia so much in real life. And then all the pizzas. We need tomatoes and garlic. Right, and we don't have any of those. I guess the good thing is we're not actually playing with simple leaving on. I still urge focaccia first because it costs nothing. <laughs> we have all the ingredients. I love how these two just want to talk to each other all the time. I really like the um, the pizza making interaction. It's very fun to watch. Wow, so much skill. Oh, that's so high up. Do you think like the animation change? I don't think the animation changes depending on like your skill levels. Which is unfortunate, but I do know that it's a lot of energy and effort to do so. <laughs> so cool! Oh my god, look at the pizza. Oh my gosh! Cool! Wait, do you think modders are going to start making like the traditional pizza oven now that we have this interaction? Ah, there we go. The welcome wagon's here. Let's get Luciano to invite all of our neighbors in. Let's go collect the waffles. We'll continue to have them be like busy still while we entertain the guests, I guess. Ooh, cookie dough! Wait, that's so expensive without flour and sugar. Why is it that... Okay, so we need the flour and sugar to be in our inventory for it to count. But we have flour here though. I'm kind of confused. Okay, let's see. Let's open and get some sugar out. I did get some sugar. I feel kind of wronged. <laughs> okay, what else do we not have for that? Yeah, so why are you scamming me? Oh, is it the egg that we don't have in our inventory? Okay, how about now? I'm confused because I have everything in my inventory and in my kitchen though. The egg, flour, and sugar. So why am I still needing to pay? I don't get it. Why? I have flour and sugar too. Is it my mods making this happen? <laughs> well, anyways, let's just go do some prepped seafood, prepped veggies. Oh, those plain waffles look good too. Is that like butter and honey? It looks very cute. Ooh! Okay, fish. Oh, oh. Uh. Uh, honestly, I don't know why, but I'm like not a vegetarian, but um, looking at raw meat and fish in The Sims makes me want to puke a little every single time. <laughs> I don't know why. Luciano is really not inspired right now, so we can't get him to even finish this one over here, but I'm just going to get him to collect the prepped ingredients. I mean, he wants to do that, right? He wants to interact with the ingredients, so I'll get him to interact with the ingredients, I guess. I guess I'll get Diana to start prepping the... I don't understand... Oh wait, we can't do prepped meat at the moment because we have insufficient skill right wait i'm hold on do we not gain cooking from doing all these stuff okay no we do we are kind of like gaining it about as quickly as if we were to cook i think i'm not sure since we're not able to make prepped meat yet let's just do chicken and waffles and pay that 20 simoleons for that and um luciano come and collect the meal right we have the focaccia as well oh it looks so good okay and then let's cook something now let's cook a cheese pizza how does the focaccia look like on the table okay this one looks less good compared to the um waffles i'm not gonna lie we're selling it anyways <laughs> But anyways, let's uh, thank these two for- Oh, they're being romantic. They're so cute. And Luciano's like flirting with his wife too. These two loving couples, like these two pairs of them. Why is he tense? Are you feeling okay? Great new neighbor. Okay, we can collect waffles now. How about our pizza? Collect meal. I think we can even start a sale. It's like 12. I think we've made quite a lot of stuff. So these are the chicken and waffles. Ah, that looks so yummy! Look at the little egg on it too. That's kind of cute. I think I'll put the rest of the batter into the fridge before it spoils first. And then... Um... Oh, did I just... I put one of the <laughs> prepped fish into the... <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I accidentally put one of the prepped fish dish into the dishwasher. <laughs> RIP. Okay, why is it that we still have five dough? Will we have like an infinite amount of dough because it's like kind of bugged? What is happening? I honestly don't think it's The Sims. Like, I have too many mods and food related mods as well. Okay, for the pizza, unfortunately, it just looks like a normal, regular Sims pizza, I think. So we're just gonna put that inside. We're gonna sell like one pizza. Yeah, this one is. I can't click on this one. This is kind of weird. I can click on everything else, but not that. But I guess we can also like cook an infinite number of pizza because we have an infinite number of dough here. That's so weird. I think we can only have one Sim 10 to the store. 
four or can we have both because Deanna will probably be the one doing the market the, the, the running the store because when I was like giving them the aspirations I thought Deanna would be like the face of the business while Luciano can be the one that's like doing most of the cooking I think that's kind of like a nice idea why are you guys eating my bread where is my fruit cake oh, oh it's over here I was like you guys have fruit cake and you're not eating fruit cake can we sell this <laughs> you know what let's try there's nothing saying we can't sell it right i think it's time let's stop the welcome wagon and then we're gonna get diana to come over here let's change business details first let's see which one should we use i quite like this one because <laughs> it matches the store as well and then we're gonna call this the roca bakery because that's their last name start the food sale diana come here and um are you gonna come and tend the table i'm so excited hold on luciano will you be able to like make more can you make another herb focaccia with your infinite number of dough <gasps> oh it looks so good imagine if it's fully stocked how much should we mark this up for uh, mark up prices let's mark it up to 75 percent let's see how much we sell this way oh first customer <gasps> Are you Pierce? No, you're Justin Delgato. Okay, I actually don't know the Delgatos very well, but okay. Let's go. I wanted a cute photo, but honestly, this is not the cutest. I think it's the angle because we can see the house, the siding from there. It's kind of... It's not the best, but okay. I want to buy. I'm, I mean, like, want you to buy stuff, not talk to me. Okay, so did anyone buy anything? yet oh that's katrina luciano sorry i'm like i want to focus on that but i don't think luciano can tend to the table at the same time right no he can't so he'll have to tend to all of these instead so maybe we'll get him to prep more ingredients let's do honestly this is so weird i can't get over this because we have all the ingredients for some of these things but it's not reflecting and it's kind of wild tbh <laughs> I'm gonna get some of these things into his inventory so that um, the game doesn't get confused. I'm not sure if it's confused at all. Yeah, it's still kind of confused. Okay, you know what? Whatever. <laughs> let's make some cookie dough. I'm not sure what that makes, but let's make cookie dough. Did they buy anything? I'm not sure if we did. I feel very evil and I kind of want to convince Brent to buy his own fruit cake. Let's go. Let's see if this works. Let's give some sales pitch here and there. Hector, are you gonna buy something? Are we not... We are reacting to... No, do not flirt with him. Tend the table. Are we making any sales at all? Why do I feel like we haven't sold a single plate? Do you guys not like my food? They are excellent quality. Well, most of them are anyways. See, my berry... Okay. Yeah, most of them are excellent. Only my... My chicken and waffles are normal, but... Everything else is excellent. The fruitcake's not mine. <gasps> my first sale! Thank you so much, Piers. Uh, wait, Justin? Piers? I don't know, but you believed in our berry waffles. So how's it? How's it? Do you like it? Well, I guess you like it. Also, someone else bought. <gasps> yeah! Oh! Oh! Wait, why is it floating? Oh, there we go. Everyone's finally buying. It took us like 500 hours, but um, thank you so much. You're a Delgato too, aren't you? I don't really know her name. She got the chicken waffles, right? Supriya. Nice. Also, Brent, can you be a good neighbor and like support my small business, please? We're probably not making a profit at this point. Oh, she just glitched out. Come on. Let's tend to the table again. Nancy, are you gonna buy something? You've been here for a while. Should we convince you to buy? We can convince you to buy our excellent focaccia. You can bring it home to your husband and son. Hi, Victor. Come on, guys. Buy something. Stop just standing in front of my store. And um, I think Luciano has like some new food for us too. We have like our new herb focaccia. Katerina, what are you doing in my house? Oh, we have waffles to collect. My goodness. Let's go. Pizza margarita as well. Someone bought something for $5? Finally? Who is it? Is it Victor? Is it you? <gasps> no, yes, Brent. Yes, thank you so much for your your kind patronage. Also, is this guy like dancing with his wife, but his wife is not there? Did his wife disappear? <laughs> okay, this is not... I'm not getting them to buy much. I didn't even mark up the prices that much. Okay, another five. <gasps> Baco! Yes, do you like it? Do you like it? How's the berry waffles? No, the plain waffles. Are you happy with it? Another... <gasps> I think... I think we have a new fan of our waffles in Justin. He just bought a second play. Right, okay, so you guys, stop being stingy. Come on, buy something. <gasps> Milestone complete? Hold on, hold on, what did we do? 
I don't even know, I was just trying my best to run this food store. Run a food sale from a residential lot, sell 5 excellent pizzas or waffles during a food sale. Oh, we've sold 5 excellent pizzas or waffles, cool. So the next level is run food sale from 2 different lots, convince customers to buy something 5 times during a food sale. <gasps> we'll have to bring this somewhere else then. Well, I don't mind that, we'll do that the next part this but for now i want to at least have this one successful food store can we convince someone to buy something like can we convince you to buy our chicken and waffles please do too much of them and luciano's here too can you help oh now lily fong and victor fong dancing in front of my store <laughs> Oh, Nancy bought something. And also Brittany Cho. Come on, give sales pitch. Why are all my couples, like all these husband and wife duos just dancing in front of my store? Oh no, the food sale is done. Okay, we've acquired the entrepreneur skill. We've acquired some fame. And we've sold three berry waffles, one chicken and waffles, and three plain waffles. And we've made 54 simoleons today. I kind of want to record this down and see how much we make like throughout the entire like little small little series that we're going to do. I like how I just decided that we're going to do a small little <laughs> two three parter of this series just to see how far we can get yeah. with this one because I feel like this video is getting like very long at this point. You know what, let's go and clear the table. Right, do we have everything in our inventory now? Oh, we do! That's cool. Can we put it back into the table? Because it actually keeps the food for quite a long time. And um, can we get everybody to go home now? <laughs> This shouldn't be in our house. I can confirm that this dough is bugged out in my inventory. I don't know if restarting the game will help, but I will try later, I guess, to restart the game. And with that, I think this is a good point to stop this part of the small little home chef hustle impromptu mini series thing. Well, I guess it is going to become a mini series, huh? Wow, the, the ideas for this video and series developed over the course of the entire video. This is so funny. Anyways, I'm gonna stop here and I'm going to probably play more immediately after so that I'll get them all prepped and ready to go up one day after another. And um, hopefully I'll ca I can keep this under like three episodes or something because I don't really want this to be a very long series. And I kind of want to post them like all within the week or something. This one will probably go up immediately after I'm done editing it today and then I think tomorrow there's gonna be another episode so the next part is gonna be tomorrow I'm enjoying the pack so far so with that I'm gonna go now thank you so much for watching all the way to this point if you have I appreciate you very much a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye guys